Hi class, another quick review video for chapter 12. We have here a whole disk satellite image of the Earth that was obtained using infrared imagery. And remember, infrared imagery helps us see uh, a couple advantages of it. It helps us see clouds in the dark because we don't need visible light for it. It's uh, detecting the, the heat signature. And we know that tall clouds are colder. The cloud tops are colder, and so they show up as colder areas on infrared images. So we can actually see uh, clouds um, in better detail with infrared than with visible images. So on this image we have high cold clouds that tend to produce precipitation are going to appear to be white. So that's some of these brighter white areas that I'm showing right um, along this dashed line. And then also indicated where the numbers are are some higher colder clouds. Um, and low clouds appear as more gray tuned, and the warmest cloud-free areas are the dark areas. So these really dark gray areas are cloud-free areas, kind of like right in this area. And then you can see some light gray here, so those are lower clouds. All right, so what phenomena is it that's producing this band of clouds along this dotted line? If you guys think back on our discussion of global air circulation patterns. This is the intertropical convergence zone, um, which we, the acronym we use is the ITCZ, right? There's the intertropical convergence zone. And that's where we have converging air movement, which causes it to rise. So we have rising air, ascending air, which then creates clouds and this band of precipitation. Now notice where it is in relation to the equator. It's a little bit north of the equator. So what does that tell us about the season in the northern hemisphere? Well, in the summer, the ITCZ migrates, the summer in the northern hemisphere, the ITCZ migrates north of the equator. And when it's winter in the northern hemisphere, the ITCZ will migrate south of the equator. So this tells us that it is summer in the northern hemisphere. Okay. So, and then what's going on with these numbers? Um, the, there's a bunch of clouds associated with these numbered regions. Where are they? Well, they, those um, storms are located in what we call the mid-latitudes, and those are actually mid-latitude cyclones. So um, that's that band where we typically see um, the cyclonic development because of the polar front, which we've spent a lot of time talking about in Chapter 9. Um, so what part of the Earth is warm and cloud-free? Well, we have this band in the southern tropics down here that's pretty warm and cloud-free at this time period. So based on this image, we can see very clear in this region and very clear in this region here. All right, let me know if you have any questions.